company um, to relocate, or you're talking about expansion, because <coughs> Kyogen, uh, which is one of our um, earliest success stories, thanks to Dave Edgerly, um, a major um, biotech firm based in Germany, uh, just made a decision to expand here rather than, than to expand in Germany, and they've got further expansion plans. I mean, we do have success stories um, uh, that don't get the kind of publicity that a Northrop Grumman did because the Washington Post did not cover the fact that when Microsoft decided that they were going to leave their, take their 500 employees who are at the Chevy Chase Pavilion um, office complex on the DC side uh, on, on, in Friendship Heights, when they decided to move their 500 employees, 500, they moved them across the street to a building owned by Boston Properties in Montgomery County. They didn't actually ask us for incentives. They just wanted some facilitation of, you know, build out, et cetera, et cetera. We celebrated that. Microsoft obviously thinks Montgomery County is a pretty good place to do business because they came across the street to us. No real fanfare. But one of the things I saw, and it goes back to this issue of individual taxes as well, there was an op-ed piece that was written about you know, Maryland's business climate and the corporate income tax differential. Maryland's is 8.25%, Virginia's is 6%. Obviously, that was a factor in Northrop Grumman's decision-making process. Well, actually, no, it wasn't, because their corporate headquarters does not pay corporate income tax. Northrop Grumman pays corporate income tax, and the 10,000 employees that are in Linthicum, which Northrop Grumman has, they're paying corporate income tax on them. They never suggested they were going to take 10,000 employees and move them across the river because the <coughs> corporate income tax was only 6% over there. So you really do have to ask the question up front of what are the factors that go into these decisions? Do they want to be next to the Department of Defense or are they a biotech company that really wants to be next to NIH and FDA? And we are going to have advantages and disadvantages that have nothing to do with our tax structure or incentives. And, and I think it raises a question, a legitimate question, of where we need to focus um, our efforts and how aggressive we need to be, which is why I go back to this land use decision we just made in Gaithersburg to basically create this life sciences center zone so that we can tell the world, hey, we, we already think we're on our way to be in Silicon Valley or Cambridge or Research Triangle. But we've just made it a lot easier um, for people to set up shop here 